Well, as life goes, things don't always work out just the way you planned, and sometimes a curveball is thrown into your life and things just don't work. So, let's talk about that. Come on back and I will explain what's been happening in the man cave. Hello beautiful person, welcome to the man cave. If you're new here, well howdy and welcome. If you're a returning viewer, well thank you for coming back and watching. So what's been happening in the man cave? Well, it's been hot. It's been bloody hot. For two weeks straight we had record breaking high temperatures here in central Florida and little to no rain. But just a few days ago that changed and we had a tropical disturbance that kind of passed through Florida and brought tons and tons of rain to South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, all the southern big cities are pretty much underwater. We here in Central Florida in the Tampa area, we had some rain. I'm not going to say it's been flooding devastating rains. It's been great for the, for the gardens. My butterfly garden is starting to look a little bit better now with all the rain and it has cooled down a little bit. That's the reason why I'm making this video today. Oh, the heat has just been unbearable. I, I, I can't begin to tell you what it's like. It could be near a hundred outside and that means the man cave, even with my air conditioner on, is like 90 degrees. And it, when it's that hot, you just don't feel like doing anything but taking cold showers and more cold showers and just sitting with the fan blowing on you and doing anything that you can to stay cool. So that's what I've been doing the last oh, few weeks. It's just been horribly, horribly hot. And I know Florida is not the only state in the U.S. that's been going through some rough weather. I know there's abnormal heat all over the United States. A lot of nasty storms that have been going through in various states in the U.S. So to all my friends that are experiencing bad weather situations, I'm right with you there. I, I know what it's like. So what have I been doing? Well, <laughs> not as much as I had hoped. I did manage to make a baby hat for the upcoming baby that my friend is having. It's just a little preemie, or not a preemie hat, but a newborn hat. It has a brim. I don't know if you can see much of it. It has a turned brim. It's cute. And there will be an afghan to match. Um, so that's one thing I, I worked on. I used my very smallest round loom to make this. And to be honest with you, it's the very first time I made a hat. And I think it turned out pretty, pretty sweet, actually. All right, what else have I been working on? Well, I finally decided what pattern or what pattern I was going to use for the baby quilt. And I decided on this. I'll actually snap a picture of it and I'll put it in the video. Here's another block that I made. I've only made two complete sample blocks at this particular time. I have made a, quite a few of these quarter, quarter blocks here. But I thought this particular diamond pattern kind of showed off the ice lollies, the jujubes, juju bears the sunglasses, and the little gnomes. They were big enough that you can actually see what, what it is. So that's what I've been trying to work on. I do most of my quilting now in the very early mornings before it gets too hot or late in the afternoon evenings. Okay, so that was that. Baby quilt. Um, I did get a replacement clue for uh, clue number four of my cotton cuts 
PMQ, if you recall it. I was having a terrible issue with uh, fraying fabrics, and then on top of it, I put together the original. Uh, I had put it together wrong, and trying to take it apart with the fraying fabrics the way it was was just horrendous. So I, I contacted Cotton Cuts. They actually did come through with their promise to replace the clue, so I did get clue number four. It is complete. Let me uh, unpin this and I can show you what it looks like. This is clue number four. So that, I did manage to get that done, and on top of it, clue number five arrived. And I did get that. Now, clue number five was just four small blocks, which was all right. I just, because it's been so damn hot, darn hot, I should say. I'm sorry. It's been so darn hot that I just don't even feel up to sewing. Um, so, yeah, clue number four and five are done, waiting for clue number six, which will be here probably the second week of July. It's hard to believe that we're just about halfway finished with the um, Tree of Life Puzzle Mystery Quilt. And just to refresh your memory, I am doing the colorway Autumn Shades. And I have Flat Nancy! <laughs> so anyways, so that was that. Now I'm also going to admit that I did sign up for the Wild West Puzzle Mystery Quilt. I'm not going to tell you what colorway I selected. I'm just going to say the original colorway that I really, really wanted sold out immediately. And at that particular time, I didn't have the extra cash to go ahead and start the subscription. So this my second choice also sold out, but it came back in stock. So when I saw that it came back in stock, at that particular time, I did have the extra funds to... Go ahead and start the subscription. Again, I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You're just going to have to wait and see. So, a little tip that I want to share with you. If you use a sew line glue pen, which I use a lot of it, make sure that you clean your cap regularly by soaking it in warm water and taking a Q-tip and getting inside that cap and clean it out because what happens is you'll pick up lint on, the, on the, the glue itself when you put the cover on it'll get adhered into the cap and sooner or later you're going to get a buildup of fabric and glue and your actual glue stick will stick inside the cap and that's not pretty when that happens besides that it's a little pricey to keep replacing those those uh, glue sticks but make sure you clean out the cap regularly. And another tip, if you live in a, a warm climate like I do here in Florida, keep your pen cool and put it in a Ziploc bag when you're not using it. They do tend to dry out and it's not fun when you go to grab your glue stick and it's all dried out. And speaking of glue sticks, I want to point out something else that I found just recently that I use a lot of. It's the Scotch Repositional Repositional Glue Stick right here. I like this because well first off it has a nice fragrance to it where most other glue sticks do not. It's I can't really describe the fragrance. It's kind of a clean citrusy fragrance. I use this a lot and I like it because I do quite a bit of paper piecing and there's times when I don't want to leave the paper in my project all the time and unlike a regular glue stick this is repositionable so you can pull it out and it doesn't get permanently adhered to your fabric. I love this. But don't sew over it. Uh, that's one warning. Do not sew over directly over this glue stick. It will gum up your needle and really mess up the works. 
So you don't, and you don't need a, a lot. It's very strong stuff, but it doesn't ever set permanent. I've let things sit. I've tried an experiment with it. I've glued something down and let it sit for a couple of weeks and gone back to it, and it does peel off. It's not super easy to peel off, but it does peel off, and it doesn't shred your paper. And So, yeah, I've actually been using it quite a bit here. I'm at the back of the this quilt. You can see that the inside diamond here, I've actually cut that out right away because I didn't want the glue to be in there for any length of time, just in case it did decide to set and get hard, which it doesn't. It doesn't. So I guess I could have actually left those inside, but I kind of like to take the insides out and leave the supporting paper on the outsides of the of the block. It's also great if you do EPP, English paper piecing. This is a good idea as well, but again, do not sew over this glue stick or the glue. It will gum up your needle and it's not a pretty pretty thing when that happens. Trust me, I know I've I've discovered that. Oh, I have a friend here that wants to come up and visit. Come on, buddy. Here's my buddy Rocco. Can you sit down? I want you to sit. He's the rambunctious one in the crowd. Oh, just settle down now. Settle down. Settle. Sit. Settle. Good boy. Good sit. He's the youngest and he's the rambunctious and he's a big boy. Yes, he is. But he loves his daddy. Yes, he does. Okay, you want to get down? Would you like to get down now, please? Come on. Why don't you get down? Why don't you get down? I'm trying to make a video for all these wonderful people, and you're hogging the, the limelight here. This is my video, not yours. But I love you. Okay, let's get down. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's get down. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Such is life with four dogs. But I love them. They're my, my kids, and I couldn't live without them. So... Again, that's about all that's been happening here. Um, just trying my darndest to stay cool. Lots of cool or cold showers and lots and lots of flavored waters like what I have here. Trying to get this video recorded because we are supposed to have another line of thunderstorms coming through in a little while and I'd like to get it recorded and edited and at least uploaded if I can today. So I'm I'm so sorry that it's been such a long time since I've had a video out. Just please understand when it is as hot as it is you just don't want to do anything. You just want to try to do whatever it takes to stay cool. So the butterfly garden is starting to perk up a little bit more. I have not seen any monarch butterflies lately. I did release one butterfly, oh, was it two weeks ago? And it was like the first one that I have, had seen in the yard, in, in my little garden here in quite some time. I think because of the heat that we've been having lately, I think most of the monarchs have migrated up north to where it's a little bit cooler. I know I, I have friends here in Central Florida that uh, also try to raise monarch butterflies. Um, I have a couple of uh, YouTube channels that I follow where they raise caterpillars and, and butterflies. And there are, everybody's saying that they're just not seeing the monarchs this year. I don't know if it's because of that monarch butterfly disease if that's wiping them out or if it's just been too darned hot. I see other varieties of, of butterflies like uh, long wing. Oh, what are they called? Ling oh gosh, my brain is just like fried at the moment. It's just too hot. Uh, golf fritillaries, we, I see a lot of those. Uh, zebra long wings, I see those occasionally. I will see... Uh, 
various types of swallow tails and little itty bitty butterflies I think they're called hair streaks of some variety of a hair streak I know there's lots of them but the little ones that I'm seeing are like real small and gray in color I don't know much about hair streaks but I see those occasionally so other than that that's been happening that's what's been happening in my little world I'm just trying to stay cool and I'm trying to keep my boys comfortable too you know I'll take them out and give them a spray with the the hose the only thing is it makes such a mess when they want to come inside because they track sand all over my my man cave here is just so filthy right now I've got to do some heavy duty cleaning I have to get the vacuum out vacuum all the dust and sand and crud off the floors and it's just too hot to even do that I don't I, I don't eat much because it's too hot to cook um, anything I cook is something that has to go in the microwave or a lot of cool you know like garden salads I eat a lot of those because it's cool but as far as cooking uh, no not gonna happen not not during the summer it's just too hot and then if I put the the stove on oh my gosh it'll jack up the temperatures here in up like 10 degrees in a matter of just a couple of minutes so I don't do an awful lot of cooking during the summer so I'm going to uh, get going here and see what I can get into as far as maybe doing some more on the baby quilt. I've got most of the, well, just about all the quarter blocks done. And you see there's four blocks that makes up the complete block. And it, when each block is 12 inches squared. So I have just... Oh, I think maybe 10 more quarter blocks to do and I should have enough to start putting the quilt together now I have not decided yet if I'm going to do a quilt as you go or if I'm just going to put the, the flimsy together and then ship it out and have it done by credit card I, I just don't know it just depends on how hot it is and what my mood is when when it's when it's complete so I'm just going to put this out there and please, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give it the thumbs up, share, like, and comment. And that's the best, one of the best ways that you can support my channel. I'm also just signed up for Buy Me a Coffee. So if you'd like to help support the channel in other ways, you can buy me a coffee. You can buy the dogs a dog bone. <coughs> I'll put the link for buy me a coffee in the description box below. There's two different, a couple of different ways that you can buy a coffee. You can do it as like a single cup of coffee or a couple cups at a time. Or you can sign up and do like a monthly uh, subscription type thing where you buy... It's like $4.99 or $5 a month. And it's just a way to help support my channel. I just... You know, and as I said in several of my videos, I don't have an agenda here. I don't have a Etsy page. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm... Other than maybe myself. Um, I'm not trying to obtain a bunch of sponsors or anything. If I do get a sponsor, that's great, but... I'm not all that concerned about having a sponsor. Um, I don't have any at this time. Uh, what else can I say? Um, my channel is not monetized, so I don't make anything from my, my videos. And I doubt that it ever will, because I don't think I'm ever going to reach the amount of subscribers and the amount of watch time that's needed to become monetized and that's all right I still will make videos as long as I humanly as humanly possible or as long as they can stand the heat um, but yeah if you maybe consider buying me a cup of coffee or maybe a monthly subscription to buy me a coffee where it just helps so that I can bring more content 
maybe more unboxings, definitely more giveaways. Um, and there are special giveaways for those that do a monthly subscription and special content to those that have a monthly subscription. And it's just, it's not very much. It's what, four or five dollars a month for a subscription or a couple of bucks for a cup of coffee. Oh, I hear the rain is starting. I hear it dripping on the, falling on the roof of the, the man cave here. So I'm going to say so long for now. Be happy, be healthy, be creative, and just be. So, beautiful person, I hope to see you again very, very soon. I'll be, and remember to help take care of the homeless dogs, cats, and animals in this world by supporting your local humane society or rescue group. Alright, I am going to say so long for now. See you soon. Bye-bye. Ouch.